Okay. Okay. All right. Welcome, everyone. Happy Wellness Thursday. Um, we're so excited to see you all. Um, I, uh, Shojrit Rochelle Adams Oji. I'm one of the co-hosts. My name is Rochelle Adams. I'm here with uh, Lena Jacobs today. And we're really excited uh, for today's wellness event. Before we begin, I'd like to hold space for a land acknowledgement. And I'd like to invite um, our guest, Ruth, uh, to give a land acknowledgement. So, Chinan, Ruth. Yahli do everyone. Thank you, Rochelle, and welcome everyone. If you're in Anchorage, you are on Den Ina homelands, where most of us are now. And when we do an, a land acknowledgement, we uh, make sure that we are giving thanks, but also continuous commitment to the land that we're calling in from, uh, the land that we're honoring, the land that we're showing our love to every day. And so um, as a Denny Ina woman, I'm honored to have all of you grow your relationship with these lands here with me. And uh, I'm happy that we can hold space like this, moments of wellness and healing here on these lands. So Chikinik, Chinan, thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh -huh. Chinan, Ruth, and I'm so excited to have you and Kango here today. Uh, so Shojrit Rochelle Adams Oji, Sendutz Agucha Je Gwatsanisi, uh, Native Peoples Action and Jitta Shugutra Tugwalf in Indigenous Engagement Coordinator Ishi. So um, hi everyone, I'm Rochelle Adams. I'm originally from the villages of Beaver and Fort Yukon and living here in Anchorage now um, on the homelands of our relatives, Adena Ina, um, my friend Ruth, and uh, I work with Native Peoples Action Community Fund as the Indigenous Engagement Specialist. And I'm one of the co-hosts today, and I'd like to turn it over to the other co-hosts to introduce herself. San Hazun, Lena Benaz Alio Jacob Sousa, Tla Aloha, Hutsan Sadansale, Dayakaklisto. Hi everyone, I'm Lena Jacobs. My Danaka name is Benozalio. I'm Koyakana Athabaskan, originally from the village of Thrugi and Cochrane's. I live in Anchorage on Dana Inna land though. I'm really fortunate to get to work with this amazing team at Native Peoples Action, the Native Peoples Action Community Fund. And I just welcome everybody and um, we don't have time for everybody to do personal introductions. and the way that we just did to introduce yourself let us know where you're joining us from and um, if you want to share what brought you to the space we always love hearing from you so I just want to welcome you thank you for joining us and just um, set our intentions for this space this is the space for oh sorry I'm going to do a housekeeping real quick if you guys could all please make sure to uh, mute yourselves I forgot to add that in there uh, that would be wonderful. We will have some time um, possibly for some questions or comments towards the end of the call, but in the meantime, we ask everybody to stay on mute. Um, and just thinking about our intentions, we really create this space for our community to come together and uplift one another in wellness. And our focus is on promoting Indigenous well being founded on respect and understanding. And we know that our wellness is grounded in our values and our traditional ways of life. And it is our intention that we seek to uphold that in this space um, and show love and respect for one another, responsibility to one another, and speak with care and hold one another up. And um, if this is your first time joining us, this is, I, I, I think this is the 17th um, wellness event that we've done and we have several more planned out and this is a growing community that has really been just kind of like a shining star for a lot of us who are coping with um, isolation and life during a pandemic so again just thank you and I'm so excited for our guest today I'll kick it back over to you Rochelle yes Basi Lena um, so yeah, I just uh, thank you for sharing those things and how we're really uplifting wellness and the work that we're doing. Um, it's very important that we maintain our uh, community and our togetherness as we're moving through this um, pandemic and everything 
social distancing. So I also wanted to share a bit of what our quick hour will look like. Um, it'll be, we'll open up and invite our guests. Uh, they'll be sharing some music and uh, words about wellness and how wellness is connected to music. And, um, and then we'll have, uh, uh, towards the end before one, we'll have some Q&A if anyone has any questions or comments, uh, we'll hold space for that. And before uh, we introduce our guests, I'd like to share a Native word with everyone. Um, I, we're, uh, with uh, Native Peoples Action is always uplifting our Indigenous languages um, whenever possible. And we really want to normalize our languages in our community. And so the Native word that I would like to share is in my language, which in, um, and that's ch'adza. And that means uh, he or she is dancing. And I think that's a really good word for today because when I hear Ruth and Kango, I just want to dance. So, chadza, and I'll write it in the chat on how to spell it. So if you want to practice, it's chadza. And with that, I'll hand it back over to Lena. Okay, so um, with that, I'm now going to invite Ruth and Kengo to do their introductions and, and kick us off with our event today. Yachli do everyone. Can you hear us okay? Okay, so we're going to have our video coming through one and our, yeah, and our audio coming through another. But Yachli uh, do everyone. Shivaik isinch iji, deni in a kanaga chef gum kanash u churiang as nanish ite. She does not a Heather Kendall Miller shunkta to u Lloyd Miller stukta. Um, echo gaslin jugu shakai kilan dach u dege kak anchorage shugu yastuda. Um, my English name is Ruth Miller and my deni in a name is Shivaik isin, and my family's from the Lake Clark area about halfway between here and Bristol Bay with some roots down in the bay too. Uh, but I grew up here in Anchorage and, um, a word, a den denina word that Rochelle reminded me is important to share is ka'eliga, which means song in denina. Ka'eliga. And I can write that in the chat later too. But we're really excited to be playing some music and I'll let Kango introduce himself. <laughs> Hi everyone, can you hear me okay? Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Kango Nagaoka. Um, I use he, him. I'm uh, originally from Fairbanks from Tsina Dene lands. Um, I'm from Japanese ancestry and uh, I'm really happy to be here with my friend Ruth to be sharing some of our music with you. And um, yeah, uh, I live in Anchorage now on Dene in the lands. And I think that um, I'm really happy to share music because music has been such an important part of my life and it's something that I'm also like getting back into. Um, but thanks so much for having us. This like doing this kind of live show is such a new experience for me. So it's um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, and I hope you enjoy. And so what we hope to do today is to, of course, <laughs> this Native People's Action. We're going to tell a long story, uh, using our songs to kind of illustrate not just our journey of playing music together and what it's been like to write music together, uh, but also how music can be integrated into wellness practices and healing and how important it is. So. I think we're going to play a song first and then we'll talk a little bit about that um, as we keep rolling. So, okay. Does that sound okay? Can you hear it all right? Awesome. Thank you.
could hold you better than I could. I know that I could. Who could hold you? Smell of summer in her hair, feel of dirt in her bones. Kiss the freckles off her arms, lace your fingers round her thighs, rub her back when she is tired, wipe that shadow from her eyes, hold her girls and say. Smell of summer in her hair, feel of dirt in her palms. Kiss the freckles off her arms, lace your fingers round her thighs, rub her back when she is tired. Wipe that shadow from her eyes, hold her curves and say you like. Hold her beauty in your mind, and when you meet her, you know of her love. And to reach her is to feel more touching if you love her. I think we were wrong to keep the space. Are you feeling threatened now? That the smile won't leave my face. You see, I remember as cozy as it is right next to you. I need to move freely. I got too many other things to do than to sit here while you wait, waiting around for us to make up. Wonder if we'll really break up. <laughs> Did that sound okay? <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> so, let's see. Kango and I started playing music together about two or three years ago. 
And this song we first performed at the uh, Just Transition Summit in January of 2020 on uh, Dineland. Like, um, <laughs> exactly a year ago. Yep. Dang! Yep. That's like some auspicious cosmic magic. Um, we, we played it the very last act of a random open mic night. But what a lot of people didn't know is that um, that was the first time that I had performed a song that I had written, and that was the first time that Kango and I had written a song together. And so about one hour before we played it, we were upstairs trying to figure out chords and being like, okay, what about for that part and then that part? And neither of us were sure if it would come together. And that video brings me so much joy because I totally messed up. It didn't sound awesome, but we were so happy. We were just laughing and having the time of our lives. Yeah, um, and I, I think that song really like started like as an idea. Like it was literally like just some lyrics that Ruth had, had wrote um, and some chords that she had figured out. And we were like literally sitting on that like stairwell uh, like 30 minutes before we were supposed to perform. And we we're like, okay, like how are we going to do this? <laughs> um but it's it's funny because sometimes like the most like well planned thing out things like don't work the best and sometimes like the most spontaneous things like really turn out really um amazing so um yeah that was that was a performance i really enjoyed too and i th think after that we came back and um yeah wanted to write more together i think both of us were a little bit like surprised after because i think the foundation of playing live music is really about trust and I love Kango, he's a brother to me, and I knew that not only is he a great musician, but he had tenderness and compassion for this thing that I had created. And so when we went up to the stage and you know started playing, like I didn't know what he was gonna play, and I don't think he really knew what I was gonna <laughs> sing, <laughs> but we just knew that we would get through it together. And ever since then, every time we play the song, been like it's really a pathway to so much expression um i and so I, i'm hoping that today we'll be able to kind of take you through how we write a song together as well I think that uh, maybe like a just a little bit of background for me as a musician. Um, when 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 I was younger, like I was a really quiet and like shy kid, you know. And I think started starting music and learning how to like perform in front of people, um, like audiences, like really helped me kind of like uh, be like more confident as a person. I think like it became into like a came into a really regular part of my like um life and i think m like more recently i realized it was like really an essential part of like me being well as a person is like being able to perform and like write music um and it's something that i feel like i maybe like um am like rediscovering at right now um so it's it's a cool process yeah i think um Kengo and i were were talking about what we would like to share and that was a really common theme for us as well i've um, I mean, Kengo plays 12 instruments, a ton of instruments. He play, He's amazing. He plays so many instruments. And what he didn't mention is that he also studied music in undergrad. And I think that um, has led him to have so much wisdom and knowledge about how to approach music making that is really uh, enriching. But I think both of us also had to go through a process of understanding that music isn't just something we do, but it's really necessary for our wellness. Um, I've played music ever since I was a kid, um, and I started on piano, and um, I think at like five or six years old, I was in choirs, but I spent um, maybe 10 years singing in choirs quietly, very uh, insecure, and I um, never grew the self-confidence to learn how to sing as a soloist with just my voice <laughs> um, until I was maybe in my late teens and even then it was a pretty painful experience and I think what really pushed me over the edge I mean I, I had been in choirs I had conducted choirs actually um, 
but what drove me to begin sharing my music is that I realized that it totally doesn't matter if I sound good or bad because I love it and if I'm doing it for myself then the joy that it creates with me uh, is is worthy of spending time on and worthy of sharing mm -hmm. and so the next song that we're gonna sing is um, actually the very first song that we ever performed together um, this is not an original this is Sola by Jesse Reyes and some of you might recognize it from the first time that we played it at the Native Movement uh, camp on the beautiful spirit camp of the late Howard Luke um, in a beautiful wooded area along a powerful riverbank. Um, this had a similar story. We just put it together and asked Kango if he could play it and we've been playing this ever since. Yeah. And it's in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> that means you have to guess what it means. <clears throat> te convienes no decirme que me quieres Prefiero que te dejes Prefiero Desimpendes cuando estoy cerca de ti. No soy el tipo de mujer con quien tú no te quieres ver. Me hacen falta tantas cosas y me fallan tantas otras. Nunca te podría complacer. Ella son. Just so
applauding virtually. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So while Ruth is getting her um, <laughs> laptop charger, yeah, um, I think that um, next up we want to talk a little bit about like our um, songwriting process um, and maybe let you in on, uh, yeah, just let you hear like how, how we try to like figure something out. Um, cause like writing a song together especially an original is like such a collaborative process um and it can take like take like a lot of different forms um but yeah ruth you want to explain what we're going to try to do what time is it oh yeah we're good, oh, we're good, we're good. um yeah so people ask me um when I tell them that I've spent some time writing songs, you know, oh, do you hear the melody first, the words first, the chords, stuff like that. Um, and my journey has been really interesting. I uh, started writing songs when I was in high school. And I can say full of pride that I hate, like I hate <laughs> most of them. <laughs> most of them are pretty bad. But I think what I um, really disliked about some of the songs that I initially wrote is that they were... Um, easy and that they didn't uh, communicate um, a message that that felt like it was coming within it wasn't something I could dance to but that didn't discourage me because maybe if I really wasn't really into 95% of the lyrics that I wrote there's maybe one phrase that I loved um, and so a couple years ago I started putting all that nonsense into a big notebook and the very first song that you heard kaleidoscope being um was actually about four different songs all put into one um with lyrics and just scribbles on my notes app or on napkins and things like that um and so i realized that having all of this compiled has really helped me kind of mix and match pieces together um in a way that I wasn't able to do when I was younger because I was so focused on just making, you know, one song about this thing. Um, but for me personally, a lot of these words, a lot of this music comes when I'm walking down the street um, or when I'm driving. Those two instances are when, like, all of this kind of happens and then maybe I'll get a tune stuck in my head. Um, but we kind of wanted to take you through some steps of, but like an easy 101 might be. <laughs> and, and my job is to take what Ruth thinks she's hearing in her head and like actually like make it real on the guitar. No, no, make it way better <laughs> than what I've ever could possibly imagine in my head. And so once we get these words and I'll kind of play around with a melody or something, Kengo will be like, oh, just sing it. Can you just sing it for me? And sometimes I'm like, I don't have a tune. And sometimes I just sing something kind of hesitantly and he will work this beautiful magic of laying down the bass chords which you'll hear in the first part of what we're about to sing and then elaborating on them and making them more complicated and complex and interactive um can we do something with the beginning of kaleidoscope being like when you first come in just to show people something yeah um so ruth's first note on the beginning of kaleidoscope being is Give me a loving. So, um, the chord that I chose to start off on is this chord. Give me a loving. But, you know, that, that same note can also go along with a lot of different chords, right? It's really a process of like choosing, like hearing and then like choosing sort of what feels right, yeah. And so um, maybe write in the chat or like wave your hands around if you know the song Stand By Me. Yeah, Stand By Me. It's a great classic. It's actually a song my dad and I sing a lot. <laughs> and so we wanted to use this as an example because when I wrote some lyrics, I realized that the basics of the song were the same chords as Stand By Me. Um, 
so let us show you. And then about halfway through, I hope you'll recognize when, we're going to start playing the song with the words that I wrote and the chords that Kango wrote. Um, so the reason why we wanted to show you this is because if you're excited to write a song but don't know where to start, pick a song that you already know and that you already like and try to get creative with it. Try out new things. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. When the night has come Surprises, even for us. <laughs> um, and so we have one more song um, ready for y'all that no one has heard before because we've never sang it for anyone before. But we wanted to take some questions from everyone first. Wait, can we hear them through our headphones? Yeah. Oh, wow, Chinan, thank you so much. Um, these are amazing. I'm seeing so many great comments in the chat that it's, it's a lot of fun. And there's so much joy and laughter coming. Um, <laughs> there's a comment about the polka collab, inevitable polka collab. We also have viewers on Facebook Live that are watching. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions? I see when is the Ruth and Kango mixtape dropping? <laughs> we 
We have like a couple of originals that we've been working on, so we could do know. like an EP. We've yeah, got probably. Like five. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it's funny because um, last year we like at the beginning of the year we were like we should we need to do a live show like that was our like major goal for music last year and then we couldn't do it because of the pandemic. So um, this is actually like a really cool like opportunity to like for us to be doing something that we really wanted to do virtually. So, yeah. Um, but I don't know. We've been recording a little bit, uh, but yeah, I think <laughs> I need to learn how to like produce music, honestly. So, yeah, it's um, it's a wild skill. There's so much um, to be loved in just getting together and jamming. But once you start recording, even honestly, to set up uh, something like this so that we're not just um, you know, yelling into my poor old computer <laughs> speakers. We have a whole mess of wires that we've been tripping over and a mixer and, I mean, that's all Kanga's department. Um, but, but yeah. Um, so maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I see a couple more questions coming in. Does anyone want to jump on to ask their question? Wink, wink. <laughs> I do see yeah. one here. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I see one from on Andreas. Is there any particular artists, hey, performers Andreas. that you look to for inspiration? Uh, if I could ask real quick. <laughs> um, I heard Rochelle asking a question, so I was just waiting for her. But uh, my question was, is there... Oh, Go ahead. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a question from my daughter. I miss this little one, so I'm happy to see uh, I, I don't understand the question entirely, but I'm going to ask my question first. Have um, doing any work with any native hip-hop artists? Literally any time you say the word, we'll be there. I don't know if we're cool enough, but uh, you, might, you might like our, uh, our next song. There's a little bit of a, a break in it where we're trying something new we'll see what you think if you still want to invite us after that <laughs> awesome and then um there was the question andreas asked um what is your inspiration particular artists performers and i would love to hear that as well yeah um i i really love especially the singing and guitar playing i get a lot of inspiration from georgia smith music georgia smith um, Umi, uh, Ravina, uh, what are other artists? Uh, we have a long playlist of uh, the playlist where we just send songs back and forth and we're like, can we play this one? Can we play that one? <laughs> Some of mine are, um, maybe a little bit more traditional. I actually, I grew up around a ton of jazz and so jazz has a huge place in my heart and soul. Um, and so a lot of amazing female black vocalists, um, a lot of Ella Fitzgerald and Aretha Franklin, but also um, even more like modern jazz interpretations. Um, I've been really into Sammy Ray and Corrine Bailey Ray, um, kind of like Amy Winehouse sort of vibes, um, just doing really interesting vocal things, Esperanza Spalding, um, just where you really, um, you know, you're not just singing a song, but you're telling a story, you're making it yours, you're challenging yourself. Um, yeah, that's that's always really exciting to me. Daniel Caesar is also mm -hmm. a huge one. Yeah, I listen to Daniel Caesar a lot, and I think his music is incredible, and his, his band also is so incredible, too. Yeah, arrangements, yeah. Yeah, um, something that we're kind of think looking forward to doing in the future, too, is um, for lots and lots of years, I, I mean, I've played piano for a long time, but I am nowhere near Kanga's talent. And so I would get frustrated. Oh, yeah. I would get frustrated um, that I couldn't play what I was hearing. And so I'd go on my laptop, literally on GarageBand, and I'd just record all of the other parts. Um, and so it would create almost these like 30 part 
acapella like harmonies just for myself i mean like very few humans in this world have ever heard these but it was really exciting for me to experiment with the sounds my voice could make and the different ways you could combine notes to get different effects and things um and so i have a lot of respect for artists who work with like elaborate um, arrangements who have lots of different instruments or even different like vocal harmonies i again i've been so obsessed with sammy ray's ep i would recommend everyone go check that out um yeah maybe maybe another question while ken goes setting up for this last little song yeah, um, I have a question. I noticed there was some kiddos watching and maybe becoming inspired. Do you have any advice for any young ones who are interested in singing or maybe um, building their confidence to be able to sing in front of people? Well, and play and play in front of people. Um, I think for me, like uh, like little steps little steps um like if you're if you're just starting an instrument or just starting to sing you know it's it's pretty daunting to um to think about like playing on a stage or in front of a lot of people right but there's things that you can practice to get there like live performance itself is is a practice much like practicing your instrument or your voice and so what you'll find is when you um, uh, perform live it, it can feel a lot different from when you're just like singing in the shower but maybe like start off by like singing in front of the mirror or singing uh, recording yourself and listening to yourself is a huge thing or maybe uh, yeah just call up your mom and you're like hey can you listen to this this is a show for your mom or dad <laughs> Um, and you can you can go from there. I think it really is about practice um, and doing a little bit every day can go a long way. Okay, my advice is maybe a little opposite from that, but that is super valid and super important. Um, for me, I kind of just had to, it felt like pulling a Band-Aid. I kind of just had to, to do it. Um, but the thing that drove me to just take that plunge and trust was... Um, was not that I like reached a point where I was like, yes, I am totally proud. I will never make any mistakes. This will go perfectly as I envision it. It was remembering the why of why I was passionate about sharing music. And um, I think that as you, you know, grow into your own why, um, the outcome becomes maybe even a little less important. And so for me, it's like, we just sang a couple songs. I totally messed up. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, because, well, for one, I, you know, I trust that it's received with kindness, but also I know that it's given with kindness and generosity for myself because, you know, that one note, no one will probably remember it. But if I like panicked mid song and like gave up and was like, no, 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 stop. Like, obviously <laughs> someone might remember that, right? And so, so much more is, is a trust of the people you're performing with, a trust of yourself, and a trust that, you know, for most people, most of the time, that one performance does not define who you are, uh, it doesn't define what kind of or what quality of musician you are, um, that there will always be other chances to create together. Yeah. So I had to give myself the permission to be bad for a really, really long time. And I'll be honest that like oftentimes I don't like my voice now, but I still know that I love the act of singing. Um, and that is more important to me, I think. Awesome, Chinan. I wanted to share that I peeked over on the Facebook Live and there is an 18 month year old baby that's very inspired and was listening to you sing and play Kango and uh, the baby started singing along with you. So I think that's so adorable and we can definitely feel the good energy here. <laughs> that's so, so sweet. Oh, thank that's you. So well, we've got, we've got one more song to share. Um, the song's a little more nerve wracking, but I'm going to release that <laughs> because of everything I just said, we're really excited to share this. Um, Actually, the only time that we've really spent time playing this song has been 
when we've recorded it and Kengo being the incredible magician that he is um, we recorded this song me singing on the piano and then he went over to the drums and played the song on the drums and then he went over to the bass and played the song on the bass <laughs> and so we we're excited to kind of finish wrapping up and, and producing that version too but uh but yeah i want to all move to canada if uh Rochelle, you can just make sure um i'm gonna check the the volume and see if it's okay yeah if you can tell me Slightly down. Slightly down. Okay. Sounds good that, to me. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. See each other. Okay. And will I only be able to hear you through the headphones? Yes. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah. Is there a lag in the headphones? No. Okay. Okay. We're good. Um, I will say this song might be a little maybe pg-13 but like not bad um and it will probably go over the heads of children anyway um yeah and if you have any questions that we can chat after darling now could i explain when you feel my heart beating raise my head against your chest yes. now i know that i'm an activist mm. gotta check my weakness with my hip place making sure that i don't scream more than a couple steps so i can keep my eyes moving now the table's turning spread out to me and the body here i go my whole way keep on staring Detachment in your eyes. I see you looking for an epic glance, an epic glass. So we may not be the perfect pair that I am, but even so, I like to know if I should dismiss these butterflies. So she knows that she to protect. 
pretend I didn't care It's not like I did my makeup and my fit So that you'd stare I love you new, do fresh fit Clean shoes I guess if I'm not to miss Then I deserve a brand new tune I can change it just to so make you too But I think you're on a different level Then I'll see what you smell like So honestly I'm looking good from your description You'd rather turn away than turn me on And get some action Hey, you don't want me Keep it on low down, don't explain it. You've already shut and locked the door. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. here clapping to myself <laughs> that is amazing oh, thank you okay. so much that was so uplifting and I just love the laughter and the joy that came through as you guys were performing and just all of the honesty that you shared in your own journey to getting to this place where you can do these solo performances I just I'm so grateful for the gift that you both shared with us today enough I see we're so grateful for all of you. Chicken Nick Pelly. I mean, having a community like this, particularly a beautiful, strong, indigenous, matriarchal organization that can guide us towards healing is it's family, it's pure spirit, it's hope, it's everything that we need right now. So thank you all for the work that you do. And thank you for welcoming all of us into your family. Yeah, awesome. guys, I have to sign off to host another meeting, but Rochelle will help facilitate the last few minutes for your closing comments and comments from others in the group. Bye. Bye, Lena. We'll see you later. Kango, you were going to say something? Oh, I was just going to say thank you, too. This has been really fun. And so thanks for creating the platform. Yes, of course. Thank you both for being here. Um, I'd like to open up the floor for a few minutes. I see a ton of comments here, um, but I'd like to give you, um, our participants, an opportunity to jump on and just, you know, share your gratitude, your excitement, or anything with Ruth and Kango here now. So I'd like to open that up. Is this Tristan, I, uh, my name is Tristan and really grateful for this wonderful performance and just want to say to a lot of gratitude um, to Native People's Action for hosting this. I think one of the things that I'm really grateful for and, and I don't know if y'all have any thoughts on this, but just part of the wellness of the community building that really comes with music and the sense of how um, music and performance really brings people together um, and just how important that's been in my life, I know. Um, it's always something I'm grateful for. So thank you for, for bringing community together today. <laughs> Thanks, Tristan. Thanks, Tristan. I think one of the things that I miss most like through COVID is like live music shows. Yeah. There's just like, there's really nothing like it. And yeah. Yeah, I jumped on up and looked on Facebook Live and there was a question about where can people see any of your performances or see any of your music? Is there any place online? Um, you have some interested fans here. That's so nice. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um, we have uploaded some of the videos from shows and stuff that we've done um, to our, you know, to our, our Facebooks and, and Instagrams. I know that um, a couple of our shows are, are on my personal Instagram. Um, we're not legit enough for that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> 
Awesome. Well, we'll definitely be sharing the recording of this. Um, there's a comment that you are legit enough. So <laughs> yeah, you guys are both totally legit um, and can't wait to listen to more. So we have some time. Anyone else want to jump in and say hi? I see some comments from Tina. Um, anyone else? Yeah. Nari? Go ahead, Nari. Hey, uh, um, I just want to say this was really cool to attend. Uh, thank you, Ruth, for inviting me. That was um, my daughter actually was inspired a while ago to write some music and uh, she got so excited about it and um, had written out the whole page. And so uh, when you ask, answer that question about like um, advice for younger people for the process, um, she was listening, she was listening, well, she was listening to the whole thing, but I think that part in particular kind of her ears perked up and um, so awesome songs. That was really cool. And thank you for the invite again. Yes. Masi Cho Nari, there was one more question that I wanted to uh, relay from Facebook Live, and that is, do you both have a, like, a group name together? Um, that <laughs> might be something else to think about. You guys are totally legit, so um, wanted to pass that not. question I, along. I have no idea what we would call ourselves. Our names are kind of hard to combine, so it'd be Kuth or Rango. <laughs> No, we don't have a name yet. <laughs> but if anyone has any ideas, drop it in the comments. <laughs> but that's uh, so. Right really now we're fun. just Tango, uh, Ruth Miller, and Tango Nagano. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I mean, I think I'd I'd also just like to share real quick that um, you know, we're joking about like not being legit enough, or I'm saying that. Um, but I think um. It is really Rango. That's a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Um, I I think it's really important to me, um, to ensure that when we do this, it's for, um, you know, the love of the music and the love of the experience. Like I always want to be laughing when we play together. Um, and so that I don't think that that means that we can't have a name or we can't have a place where folks can listen to our music, but I. For me, at least, what drives me to do this is is because that's not um, the goal. You know, to, to be a professional musician, to need to rely on your art, to, um, you know, have a steady income and such. I think um, some might share that that um, informs the relationship that you have with music. But, you know, it, for me, it's, it's really, it's just about uh, wellness and, and joy and, like, pure delight. Um, and so, yeah, may maybe those things will come, but that's not stopping us from playing together and, and sharing on things like this. So, hi, Connor. <laughs> we miss you. Yes, well, it's definitely been a pure delight for us today to, to see you and just to listen to your amazing music. So thank you so much, Sinan. To you both, uh, the the comments are just totally funny over here. They have so many great ideas for your names. Uh, but yeah, thank you both for being here. And remember, um, you know, everyone that we're in this community together. We're here for each other's wellness and to uplift each other. So remember to take care of yourselves. Get fresh air. Drink water. Stay socially distant. And we'll see you all the week after next on January 28th, where we have a special NPA wellness edition on voting with our executive director, Kendra Kloster and Kelsey Wallace. So we will see you next time. Chinan, everyone for coming. Masicho. Masicho, Chinan, Thank you all so much.